are you? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you. Super excited for this. Another trip to Tokyo. Actually, just Japan. We're not going to Tokyo, actually. We're going to Naika, Nagoya, and Osaka this time. Do you want me to get it? So we're on the Shinkansen now. We're actually making this special trip to Nagoya and then Osaka and then back to Narita where our family lives. I mainly wanted to go to Nagoya because there's this music event called Sakai Spring and they have over 300 artists at different music venues playing within this little city called Sakai. They're all like new up and coming bands. So. If you say their name, most people probably won't even know who this band is, but I think it's great that they're giving like these new artists like a chance to expose themselves and to go to a live show. We booked this trip actually super last minute because I wasn't gonna go at first because we were just in Japan in March and uh, I wanted to go to the show because I like this artist named Sanetti and again, he's like, pretty underground right now. He had like this really viral music video and then I just got hooked after that. And I do like his songs, so this is like his second live show that he's playing and it's like a really small venue, so I was like, I kind of want to go. So I asked my youngest sister, Cindy, if she wanted to go. Say hi. So she was like, yeah, I'll go. And then Candy heard the conversation and she was like, you know what? Maybe I can go too. <laughs> so she came too. It's Candy eating her bento. So yeah, so we're making this whole trip. We're taking the Shinkansen to Nagoya first, staying there for a night. And the Sakai Spring, actually two nights, yeah. Because Sakai Spring is tomorrow. Today's Friday and it's a two day event actually, but we're just going to do the Saturday event where um, Sanetti is playing. And then I'm going to check out a couple other bands too. Uh, I think one is called Cat Ate Hot Dogs, I just like the name. And then the other one is Chevon or Chevon. Um, they're actually pretty up and coming, uh, so pretty excited to check out some live shows in Japan. This is my first time. So then after Nagoya, we're gonna go to Osaka and visit there for like a day because our brother is moving to Osaka on Sunday and we're gonna be in Osaka Sunday, so we're gonna have dinner with him there. So that's our plan. And then right now we are on the Shinkansen to Nagoya and we got these really cute, well, I'm, mine is like the cutest, but we got bento boxes. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show you what we got. So this is Candy's bento. So we got the bento right before we got on the train. They have so many kiosks uh, inside the station where you can pick different types of bentos. So Candy got, which, what did you get here? Fried shrimp, salmon. They have a bunch of little other items like egg, cake balls. This is um, a type of seaweed in Japan. I like the traditional type of bento boxes. And then Cindy over here, she got rice and fish. It's very like traditional Japanese uh, bento box. Well balanced. Well balanced meal. This is my cute uh, bento box. I wanted to get a nice <laughs> bullet train looking bento box. This is actually for children but I felt like this is what I would want inside. I don't even know how to open this. It's so cute. <laughs> so yeah, I think I have a little sticker. And then this is like a hamburger, sausage, uh, egg, and this is uh, rice right there with, uh, what is that, fish cake. I think this is like omurice. Chicken, yeah. Oh, chicken rice, that's what they said, yeah. Uh, that's the fish cake and then you get a little jelly. <laughs>
the cutest thing. This ninja parfait. This is what we're most excited about at the Nagoya Castle. <laughs> this is a ninja parfait. Uh -huh. It's so tiny, it's so cute. Oh, nice, perfect. I mean, I bet it's so thick that it's probably the same amount as this. Yeah, we got a lot of gifts. This is a popular in Nagoya. It's like one of their staple beautiful dishes. I don't really like it, but it's bread on golden butter. And it's cute. Beauty! Beauty! So cute! Beauty! 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 We're in our seat. Yay! We got our bags back here. What is this? And you get to eat it on this yeah. little thing? Again, again. This is cool. I've never seen anything like that. We skipped a few days of us talking because we had so much going on. We're actually on our way back to Narita now. We did the whole trip. Friday, we checked out the Nagoya Castle. It was okay. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't much. You just kind of go in and like walk around it. You can't go inside the castle. No, they stopped uh, letting people in the castle before the pandemic, actually. I mean, it's still nice to look and view it from the outside. And the area around there was pretty too. The entrance fee was 500 yen, so very cheap. It is cheap. I mean, it's still like part of Japanese history, so I think it's good to check out. I mean, plus if you're in Nagoya, why not do it? There's lots of cafes in front of the castle. We chose the one that had the ninja parfait, and it was actually really good. For dinner, we went to this really small yakitori bar, and that was actually pretty neat. I always wanted to go into like a little, like, okay tiny local bar like that because it's like a bar too it's like food and a bar and like the yakitori was like okay so that was just friday and then saturday the whole day was all about live shows my main guy i wanted to see was sanetti so he played at 1 p.m he actually 
packed out the entire place. It was actually capped. They weren't letting anybody else in because there were so many people trying to get in, which was amazing because he's a, a brand new artist, pretty much. People at that event were pretty impressed by that. And then all his fans were there too. Actually, I'm gonna say about like 20 of his fans were there and they were like so into it. Like the vibe was super cool. So he played about, I think it was like six to eight songs somewhere around there. He was so great. I thought he did such a great job, especially for like his very own first live show. And then after that, uh, you line up to buy his merchandise and he sold out all his merchandise too, which was another great thing for him. And then after you buy his merchandise, then you can get his autograph. So there's like another line for that. And so I got to meet him <laughs> and um, it was just amazing because he was so nice and he met, you know, Candy and Cindy too. So he like gave us all his autograph and like shook our hand and talked to us for a little bit. He was like smiling the whole time. So it was an amazing experience. I, I'm so glad I went. <laughs> and then after that, me and Cindy, we checked out a couple more shows because throughout the day, you can go to as many shows as you want. Yeah, I like how they they put these venues in different areas. So you also, you also get to kind of like explore the area while you're trying to you know find these different locations. So I think it's a really neat idea. So me and Cindy went to two more shows. We went to uh, this show called Cat Ate Hot Dogs. So another tight, really small venue. We like the environment of watching them play. It's like fun to see them play their instruments. And then our last show that we watched was Siobhan. That was a pretty big venue and it was packed and people were really into them too. I'm gonna say like my favorite show was definitely Sanetti, the first one, because I knew all his songs and uh, like, he's really engaging. That's what I like about him too. But everybody was great. Uh, I really do kind of recommend this event because you can check out as many as you want. If you wanted to, you could check out probably like 10 shows within a day or even more but we just wanted to space it out a little bit. Yeah, so that was just that one day, and you can't really take video in there or anything, so we didn't record anything that day. Yeah, in the venues you can't yeah, yeah. record video. We took some pictures at the Sanetti show, but that was the only thing we could do. And then the next day, we took the bullet train to Osaka, and we stayed in an area called Namba, so it's a very old school city. It's just like more grungy. I love that look. And it's like so much pop of color everywhere too, which I like. I used to actually live in Osaka about 15 years ago. Then I have been to Namba, but never really like explored as much as we did this time. So it was nice to like actually kind of do a little bit more, but I was just in shock of how busy it was. It was packed. Yeah, it was kind of like, vibe where Disneyland is just closing and everyone's trying to exit. It was like shoulder to shoulder. So in Osaka we stayed in, I think it was called Minami something. This hotel was a little bit more expensive than the other hotels that I found, but I like that it had a lot of space. It actually had four beds in there. It's very modern looking, so they had two single beds, they had a bunk bed, and then they had like a separate living room, dining room area, a little kitchenette and then the bathroom. So it was a really nice big space. There's lots of eateries nearby, uh, attractions. We walked to the area, the bridge, where you know, there was like the river and like the famous Guriko sign. And then we did some shopping and lots of eating, of course. There's so much food. So like, don't stop at the first thing you see because there's like stalls and stalls. Like, I mean, I want to say like 45 minutes of just walking, like everywhere you go, there's food there. We actually didn't eat any of the famous things in Osaka, which is takoyaki and also okonomiyaki. So we're not actually big fans of those dishes. So, but luckily we um, did some, we ate some stuff that our brother recommended, who, which he lives in Osaka now. We met up with him. And uh, he was like, oh, since you're in Osaka, we'll go to the famous places that the locals like. And he recommended this Chinese place. And I was really skeptical at first. I'm like, well, I don't want to eat Chinese food in Japan. <laughs> you know? And he was like, no, 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 this place is amazing. Like, it's super popular in Osaka. You can only have it in Osaka. And they're really popular for their pork bun. And yeah, we loved it. And there was a long line for takeout. Because I guess a lot of the locals, they just like to take it home. So I was afraid that there'd be a long wait to get in the restaurant because like, the line was like crazy. But apparently, most people don't really dine in there because we were able to sit down right away and the food came out right away. Yeah, everything we ordered was great. The gyoza there is really good too, if you like gyoza. Then we went to this cheesecake place, another famous thing to do there, which my brother recommended. They had two lines. One line was for the ones they baked two hours ago, and the other line was for the freshly yeah. baked ones. 
that they just came out of the oven. Yeah. And we did want to sit there at the cafe, but they were closed. They closed at five. So luckily we were able to take it. Yeah. yeah. So then we were in the line for like the hot one, uh, like the freshly baked one. So it was longer, of course, but it was it went by really fast because they like they efficiently do this process. Like they know what's they know that, the, that they're always busy, so they move it along really fast. But since there was like nowhere to eat around there, we just took the cake back home, packed to our hotel, which was great because we had a nice dining area and ate with our brother. So that was really nice. Yeah, it was a nice little. Um, sibling planning yeah. for of us. <laughs> and then uh, finally this morning we went to check out She's That Guy. Yeah, which we highly recommend, recommend doing that at, well, it's suggested to do that at night because the night lights at She's That Guy are amazing. But we were so tired. And also it's kind of known to be an area where it's a little bit sketchy. Um, I don't know if it is now because of all the tourists. Yeah, but back then it was. Um, but we were just too tired to go at night, so we went in the morning, which I still enjoyed it in the morning. Yeah, I liked it. Um, they don't have very many things open, but you could still feel the vibe of it. I like this really old school retro game center I was so excited about because they had all the old school games that I used to play. He loves Tetris. Yeah, Tetris is my thing. And um, Street Fighter, like the old Street Fighter, game. like all the different versions of it. Yeah. So yeah, I, sp I played Tetris for a little bit because it just it was so nostalgic. I almost want to play Street Fighter. Yeah. I just had in my head like, oh, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I used to play that all the time. Yeah. We're in that way, I know. After she uh, Sekai, then we checked out the Osaka station. It was called like Osaka, like Sunshine City or something like that. But they have like this fifth floor area where it's like a big atrium. It's newly renovated I not too long ago. Yeah, not too long. Well. Yeah, because when Candy used to live there, it wasn't there. So they um, did, did this huge project where they redid everything in the station. And it was really beautiful. Um, but we actually really enjoyed the old school. Uh, I like the grunginess. But it was nice to check out. I like that. The architecture is really great. Yeah. It, I actually enjoyed all the surrounding architecture, architecture while we're going to it because I'm just like, wow, it has changed so much here. So yeah, so now we're heading back to Narita, where, um, which is our hometown where our parents live. And uh, we'll be spending the rest of our time in Narita with our family. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video of our little trip from you know Narita to Nagoya to Osaka and back. Uh, our little bullet train experience too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.